Hi, this is Becca with Day by Design Planners. Thanks for checking out my uh, tutorial on my digital planner. It's a dated monthly, weekly planner. And maybe you've already purchased it and are wanting to see about the features or maybe you're just checking out digital planners to see what they're about. Either way, thanks for watching. You can get more information about the planners or purchase them on my Etsy shop, it's daybydesignplanners.etsy.com or on my website, daybydesignplanners.com and that's my sales pitch. Okay, so we're gonna get into the planner. First I wanna tell you that I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 inch. The 10.5 works really well too. If you have a different tablet, as long as it has a PDF reader that supports um, links and a pencil it should be good to go but if you're still unsure I have on my website if you go under my free stuff there is a sample digital planner and you can download that and import it into your tablet and just check and make sure that the links work and that you, you can write on it and everything works fine before you order so that there's peace of mind there but you can check that out on my website under free stuff Okay, so I'm using GoodNotes, and just in case you're not familiar with GoodNotes, I wanted to go over the tools really quick just so that we're all on the same page. This little tool right here activates your links. So if you're pressing something, you think you should be going somewhere and you're not, it's probably because your links tool's not on. This is a lasso, and we're gonna be selecting things with that. And you have an eraser, different sizes, but you're not going to erase anything that's embedded in the planner, so no worries there. You have a highlighter tool, different colors, different widths. Same with your pencil or pen, different colors, different widths. And then we have um, it's a piece of paper with a pencil and it's like a zoom box. Um, I don't use it a whole lot, but you might find you use it. Then there's some symbols there, a square, a circle, and a triangle. And those are good for drawing perfect squares, circles, and triangles, and straight lines. I use it for straight lines probably the most. But you want to make sure you turn it off before you start writing again because it's trying to convert your writing to squares, circles, and straight lines. Then there's a plus sign, and that's going to be for inserting pages we'll, and, and uh, pictures, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then there's four squares here that gives you an uh, outline of your pages, and we'll be using that in a minute. Okay, so this is my Earth 2018 planner, digital planner. I call it Earth because I'm using kind of subtle Earth tones. But if you don't like the Earth tones, I also have a chalkboard monochrome version available for 2018 and then 2019. It's the same exact planner, it just doesn't have the color. So if you come down here to October, it's the same thing, just you're gonna add all your color. So if that's something that um, appeals to you, it's available. But we're gonna do this demonstration in color just for better view of the camera. But as I said, this is 2018, and I didn't get it completed until September. So January through September has no data. So if you were to have your links on and went here to August, it'll say this planner starts in October. So if you go to October, you see your month and then your week. And um, the month is a standard month, and but the week is probably my number one seller as far as weeks go in my shop. And so I, I used this to do my um, digital planner. It's great if you want to have appointments and doodle or add stickers. You can keep notes or maybe you have a project you're keeping track of, to-do lists, weekend to-dos, and habits. It's kind of got it all. And um, I this is the one I use all the time too. So I hope you like it. Okay, so the reason, the other thing about it only having October through December in um, 2018 makes it, really appealing for someone who might not be sure if they want to use a digital planner or not because it's going to be really cheap on my um, Etsy shop and my website. So if you're not sure and you want to just check it out, that's a good time to buy it because it's going to be cheap because it's only got three months in it. But the 2019 version will have the whole year. 
Okay, so let's get into the planner. And we're going to do that. We're going to jump over to my working planner that I work in so I don't muck up the one I use for demonstration. And right away, you're going to see that I don't use this quite like everybody else. Um, there might be other people that do it. I don't know. But I kind of I use each square of the, of the month as a day, and I just kind of doodle in it or whatever I want to put in there. But... I don't write my appointments or birthdays in there like you commonly would use a month. I've added stickers to kind of theme for October and um, a lot of times I'll go in and color things. I just haven't had time to do that yet but at the end of the month I might go in and, and color all these little areas, things that I've drawn. But let's go in and I'll show you what I what I use it for. You can use it however you want. But, so I'm getting my pencil. Let's see how big it is. Yeah, that's going to be too big. And so I'm going to come in here. All these numbers here are my bike miles. So I keep track of my bike miles on here. And I'm going to... Um, just draw a little doodle there. And then I also want to add something for my sticker book. I have fertilized my orchids this morning so I have a doodle I've already made um, regarding that so I'm going to go to my sticker book and gives me a chance to tell you this sticker book also comes with your planner. Um, however, disclaimer is I'm not an artist. There are some stickers I've done in a design program but there are others that I've just kind of drawn and some of them are pretty good. Some of them are okay. Uh, it's just, they're free, so no judging my, you know, doodle artwork, please. If you don't like them, you can toss them, but you can still use the framework of the sticker book. So we have some areas already um, labeled, some themed areas, but say you have, and there's some buttons over here that you can assign. So say you have kids in school and you're thinking, I'm going to have a lot of school stickers. You can call it school or you can come in here and press and hold grab your text and type school and center it and so every time you press on that button it will take you to that page and that's where you would um, stick your stickers that are school related whether you've made them or purchased them that's where they can go you can use your little home tool to come back home uh, whenever you need to and I'm going to flip through this really quick just so you see what kind of stickers are in here. You can add pages just like you would in the planner that I'll be showing you in a minute. So we have some widgets, appointments, some lists, weather, steps and weight. And here's where I've started drawing them and I'm using, I'm learning Procreate so I've kind of started making some little backgrounds or something in Procreate, some boxes, some banners, some more of my doodles. And here I'm going to grab my lasso tool because remember I said I fertilized my orchids. Well I'm going to copy and I'm doing a small little circle here because I don't want to grab anything surrounding it. So I copied that and I'm going to hold on to that and then I've got some more over here. Just kind of what I've worked on while I've had the have the digital planner. So there'll be more in the next version. But okay, so I'm gonna put my go back to my working planner and I'm gonna paste that sticker I just grabbed and I'm gonna resize it because that's way too big. I'm going to stick it right here. Okay, and then I'm going to write here. This is going to be a bad angle for writing, but I fertilized. I could make this bigger too if I wanted. Fertilize my orchids. Okay, I still got room for saying other things that I might do later. And that's all I'm going to do right now on this page. So I'm going to flip my page, and you'll see that I have on this page a grid. This normally doesn't come here, but when I'm using it, I like to have a grid page following my month.
because I like to tell a little bit more about certain things that happened in the month. For instance, in October, my husband and I took a road trip to North Carolina. We stopped by Savannah for a night and then went on to see family after that. And just other things that might have happened in the month. I keep a list of the books I'm reading. And then if I turn the page, then my first week comes. Your, your page could have been a meal planner. Maybe you want a meal planner every week or whatever you decide to do. But this is week one and week two, week three, week four. So this is where we're at. And I'm going to come in here and this might be redundant, but I also keep my miles here. That way I can look at them and see wherever I'm at. I can see I also have my things still paste, pasted, so I can put that here. I'm going to have more room here so I can put more things on this page than the month page. And then I called my insurance company and fertilized my orchids. Then if I come down here, I want to grab my highlight, highlighter tool. Okay, it might be a little big. And I want to highlight that I rode my bike. And we'll see if I have any evening activity like walking or whatever later. Um, so the other thing I want to do is I want to add another sticker over here. So I'm going to go back to my sticker book, go to my widgets, grab my lasso, and I want to grab this post-it note. I'm going to come back to my planner. I'm going to paste it. That's too small, so I'm going to resize it. And place it in spot. So it's there. And I could lasso it again and delete it or resize it. Um, it won't erase, so you'd have to actually delete it to get rid of it. Um, but it will stay in one spot. It won't move. So I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to bump up my font. I'm just going to give me, you can put anything you want in here. You could write yourself a note or you can make a list. But I'm just going to give myself an encouraging word. You go, girl. And I can do a line, or I could have done a straight line with my little tools up there. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do in my month and week views. So I'm going to jump back over to my clean planner, and I'm going to talk about these upper tabs. First we have the about tab. And it pretty much is given instructions like this video. It'll tell you how to get started. It'll tell you about adding stickers, etc. And then we have an index page. And because this is October through December, those are the only links that are working here. But if I wanted to jump to November, I could. If I wanted to jump to the third week of December, I could. In the 2019 version, all these links are working, so you can jump pretty much anywhere in the whole year. I have some extras pages. Remember how I had a grid page after my month? That's where these all reside. So let's look at what extra pages are that I have here. I have a grid, a dot grid, a lined, a to-do list, another to-do list, notes lined, notes grid, daily food log, Meal planner, meal planner plus a shopping list, monthly budget, budget worksheet, monthly expenses, monthly income, goals and gratitude, and then a blank page. So those are the extras. I have some miscellaneous pages, and the difference here is these pages probably won't move around. They should probably stay right where they're at because you don't really need a bunch of places for contacts. They're just going to reside in one spot. And... Um, the difference is here, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how right now there's only one contacts page in the planner, so you might want to duplicate that and have more than one. And then you'll see some blank um, buttons here too, so that you could assign these buttons to pages that you use a lot. For instance, maybe, especially getting toward the holidays, I'm thinking gift lists, maybe you want um, 
to sign one of these buttons for our gift list and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Let's go to our projects. We have project sheet where you can copy it and paste it and use it somewhere else or you can come here and assign one of these buttons to um, a certain project for work or for home and keep them all there. There's home projects. Here I keep a list of all the things I like to do in my home so that if I know I have an afternoon coming up this week, I can look on my list to see, yep, I can knock that out in an afternoon. So it's got all the areas of the house, and then it's got a blank sheet in case there's other areas that you have in your house. Okay, so that was the project that we have a year. We have a year on one page for the 2018 version. We have 2018 and 2019. For the 2019 planner, you have 2019 and 2020. We have a dates to remember that you can keep track of things going on for um, either for your family and then what I'd like to do is I put it all in here for my family and then I take a little snapshot and send it off so everybody's got it. Or I can keep one for work with all my things that I want to make sure I remember. Maybe I want to do quarterly taxes or an annual report, just things like that. And then you have a couple blank buttons here too that maybe you have a school calendar or a sports team calendar and you can take a turn that into a JPEG or a PDF and you can put it and label this and attach it to there. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things right now before we get into those three tabs. But let's take our grid page and we're going to click on our four squares and grid page is 49. So we're going to edit page 29 and copy. Then we're going to come up here and we want it to appear after we're done and we want it to appear after October's month so we're going to press this plus sign right after October and we're going to paste copied pages. We're not going to insert page, we're not going to import, we're going to paste copied pages. Okay we're done. So if we go to October now and flip our page, that's where our grid page is. It could have been a meal planner or you know a budget, whatever it is you wanted it to be, but I, I used a grid. And then your week comes after that. Okay, so then we're gonna come over here to miscellaneous. And remember I said maybe you want more than one contacts page. Well, we're gonna come to our four squares and we're gonna see contact page is 48. We're gonna edit page 48. We're gonna copy that we're done and we're going to hit our plus and we're going to hit the plus right after 48 because that's where we want to paste our copied page. Okay, we're done. So now if we come back to miscellaneous, go to contacts, we have one, two contact pages where we used to only have one. Okay, now we're going to come here to our um, miscellaneous page. Remember these buttons I said we wanted to maybe assign to something? Well, we can do that. We could take our um, idea of maybe a gift list here. And so let's get, we could write it in here. We could write gifts. Or we want to make it look like it belongs here. We could press and hold, get our text button, write gift, and move it and center it. And we could change the font if we wanted to. And so there's gift. And um, so if we make sure our links are on and press gifts, it takes us to the page where we could start writing a gift list or whatever you wanted to do here. But um, I design planner printable, so I happen to have a printable gift list, which is a PDF. So I could go and I could find that PDF and I could copy it and come back and paste it. Or, um, to make things easier for this demonstration, I have converted that PDF to a JPEG because it makes it easier to find. So I'm going to hit my plus guy and hit my image. And I happen to have it on my photos. It could be on my iCloud drive or in my camera or in my Dropbox, but it's in my photos. And I'm going to find it here. And there it is. And I'm going to tap on it to crop. In this case, you might not have to crop it always. But I'm going to crop it. And then I'm done. And then I'm going to enlarge it. And you just want to make sure that 
your blue boxes, your blue circles are all on the white page. PDFs seem to come in cleaner, but this is fine. Okay, so now I could write on here, say this is for Joe, and then if I decide, no, that was wrong, it's not for Joe, I can erase it, and it has done nothing to my image there. Okay, so we have moved pages, we have added pages, and we have assigned a button. The last thing we need to do is talk about these three tabs. And I save them last because they're the most difficult. Now, let's take the same example of gift list, and we can take and go find that gift list and plop it into this page just like the other. The only difference really is how we label it. So I could write it if I wanted to, or I could put my text here. and write gift and center it and move it and but what happens when I turn my page is it's not there anymore because each of these pages are individual pages and there's like 150 of them so you probably are not going to want to do that 50 to, you know, 150 times you could if you really wanted to you could come in and copy it, go to the next page and paste it there. You could do that. Or you could decide that maybe you only want it right here so that if you tap on it you can see its gift or maybe you want to only have it on your home page. <clears throat> so you could you know put your label right here as well. Maybe you want it on all of your um, tab pages, whatever it is you decide to do. Um, it's really up to you, whatever works for you. So you can choose not to label if you want. But that's pretty much all the um, features of the digital planner. I hope I was clear and covered everything for you. If you have any questions, you can um, email me at uh, daybydesignfl at gmail.com or you can convo me on my Etsy shop and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Don't forget that free sample is on my website under free stuff and I hope if I've done nothing else that I've given you a little bit of um, desire for digital planning at least to try it out. So. I just hope you have a great day. Thank you.